The mother and child was a central theme in Henry Moore's art and one regularly identified with the sculptor. He loved that the subject was universal and known in the art of many cultures. It offered human interest as well as compositional dynamism. Even when it became abstracted in some of Moore's sculptures, he enjoyed exploring the relationship between two forms, one large, one small, one often protecting the other, or sometimes emerging from it. In this talk, I'd like to focus not on Moore's depictions of the mother and child, but on the very personal portraits he made of his own mother, Mary. In June and July of 1927, Moore and his mother both went to stay with Moore's sister, also called Mary, and her husband, who were then living in Colchester, Essex. During the stay, Moore drew six sketches of his mother. The artist would have been 29 at the time, and his mother almost 70. Henry was the seventh of eight children, only six of which survived to adulthood. And the linchpin of this large family was undoubtedly his mother, who has been described as a woman of dignity and exceptional energy and determination. These characteristics emanate forcibly from this portrait. She comes across as the archetypal Victorian mother in her high neck black dress with this straight back and firm stare. But Mary was also known to be very affectionate. Moore said of her, she was to me the absolute stability, the whole thing in life that one knew was there for one's protection. In this drawing, the stable matriarch is tenderly portrayed. Soft pencil is rubbed to evoke the contours of the figure before being overworked by pen and ink and wash. And then finally, the highlights of her hair and dress are delicately picked out. This is the most worked up of the six drawings and clearly made as a portrait with the sitter's full awareness. Four of the sketches were drawn on pages from the local newspaper and reveal even more intimate moments. Mary is deeply engaged in some sewing or needlework and doesn't lift her head to register her son's attentions. There is a sense that sketches are impromptu, made on whatever material Moore had to hand and quickly laid out in these bold passages of ink and wash. Some of the others show evidence of Moore making more considered careful gestures and selecting colours such as this vivid green to lift the figure away from and off the background text. Aside from the obvious devotion to his mother that these works show us, they also reveal that Moore, even when on holiday and presumably at restful moments with his family, could not help but observe the world around him and satisfy his urge to create. 